That didn't happen. None of you saw that. That was a. Uh... Yeah, that that was a um, that was an illusion. Yes. Illusion of the optical sense. There you go. <laughs> Looks like Eggman just got drilled. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> oh, God. Oil ocean. All right, this stage is uh, it's too bad, but uh, the bandits in the stage are starting to get merciless. This is basically where things start to go. Oh my god, I got hit by a tiny black pellet that I could barely see. Because the seahorses in this stage, they are, they are, they are your worst nightmare. Like, you'll see once one of them hits me, because it's, it's, a, it's gonna happen. It's still not as bad as the slicers in the um, next in Metropolis. And trust me, those slicers. I have something to say about those slicers. Oh my Jesus! Those slicers are the spawn of Satan himself. Those things. The slicers will hit you. That car does. They will hit you everywhere. They will. Be in the mid most obnoxious position in history. Then there's gonna be the crab bloody meat guys, the guys with the crab claws, whatever you call them, which are giant crabs, but they have such a bad, such a giant, such a tiny hitbox that uh, you're gonna probably get hurt when you try and kill them. Which makes them a pain as well to manage. Tails, you son of this, you idiot. <laughs> You crazy idiot. Ugh, yeah. oh, the... Right. But this, this stage is fairly basic. It's not... It's not one of my... Seahorse! It's not one of my favourite stages, but... It has got these little automated things that... I quite like. They're interesting. What the hell? Oh, that was... A Interesting. <laughs> oh well. Come on. <laughs> You'll see that happen a lot in a stage. It's like the stage gimmicks. Gimmicks involve having oil, having these things, and having pellets shooting enemies. I shoot tiny little pellets, you can barely see that'll kill you. Well, at the very least, do some damage. What is the point of that lift? Ooh, ooh special stage over there. Let's despawn the lift, shall we? And, uh. Yeah. Do this. I never noticed that goal post before. The more you know. No, what am I doing? No! <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I couldn't even get past the first stage this time. Come on. It's a really good 
thing this game doesn't have a doomsday zone, because otherwise, my god, this LP would probably be cancelled right now. Well, it won't be cancelled, I just won't show it off. Or at least I'll show it off, but I'll cheat to get to it because, yeah. Well, I'll just show off all the special stages and extra video without. He's more of a nuisance than anything in this game. He can be quite helpful in the second game, but in this game he's just... There. He's... Like, leave me alone, you crazy fox. Yeah. Tila, get off my... Get off my computer! Tila, oi, off my sodding cats. But yeah, I bet Sonic would be like... Yo, Tails! Why are you following me around, man? It, it's not cool. You, 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 could, you just learn to do something, man. Like, be an engineer. Be someone who can... Go and... Prepare aircrafts or something. You know, something along those lines. Which he does. To a fair play to him, he does do that. But... <laughs> you know... I don't know how Tails died then. See, people say that people who go nuts with Tails are cruel. No, I say they are smart because Tails is evil in this game. When I first started recording, I didn't think I'd be doing this much complaining about Tails. <laughs> I really didn't. Well, I wasn't gonna expect to do the LP with Tails, but you know. As things go on, as things go on. That was my bad. <laughs> yeah, I've literally ran out of things to say. Come. <laughs> I like that sun in the background, that's obscured by the foreground. It looks really nice. Actually, to be honest, the sun in the background, I used to think that looked amazing when I was younger. You know, now it looks like a bunch of squiggly lines to me, but back in the day, yes. Back like 15, 16 something years ago, it was uh, pretty amazing to me, yes. Maybe 17 years, I really don't know how old I was when I first played it, but I... <laughs> you know. Alright. That was interesting. Boss fight time! This boss is easy. You just one, two, three, four, five, and then jump up here. You can sort of cheat it and jump in the oil and jump underneath this platform, but here at Sheep and Dane, we promote professional, legitimate gaming. Yes. The next game, I cheat. <laughs> nah. Oh well, there he is, there's the egg sub, now submerged into the oil, which caught, should have really caught fire when he blew up, but you know. Logic in a Sonic game? Good almighty. What do you think this is, Super Mario? Metropolis. I'm gonna do act one of this and I'm gonna have a quick break to have a drink. Get my uh, thoughts together because my commentary is probably lacking right about now. And we'll finish off the game after this act. So, yeah, let's just do this now quickly.
But yeah, like I said, if anybody wants me to, I will actually do a little walkthrough to show up of all the special stages completely in their entirety. That didn't happen. Yeah, I'll do a little walkthrough show of all the special stages if anyone wants me to. I don't see why, it's nothing... they're not that big. It's just... If you are going to play this game to get the emeralds, play without tails. The special stages are so much easier without them. Okay. There we go, you're not getting me this time, crushers. But yeah, those starfish, they explode when you get close enough to them, so... Be careful, and... You. I hate you. Son of a- I want to be careful, because that's why. Alright, these things by you, these little cog things, you can run on them. They're, and they'll go up and down. They're basically lifts. Nothing big. Nothing big. You do need to be careful though with them, because you can crush yourself easily. Like I have done before. Way back in the past. Like so. Here at Cheap and Dane, we show off nearly everything. Nearly everything. Basically, we show off stuff unless we can't be bothered. And that is the honest to god truth. But enough of that, let's continue. It's like, I will never do an LP of Toy Story 1 on the Mega Drive. Genesis, whatever you call it, it depends on your country. Personally, I prefer Mega Drive. Because of, um... The game is solid. I cannot play it. I'm horrible at that game. Therefore, I will not record it. I'm horrible at Mega Man, but I'll just do post commentary if I ever get around to doing that. If I can ever find myself a copy of the sorting thing, that's less than 100 quid. Seriously, that pricey. They are really pricey games. Well, the new, the Mega Drive one is anyway. Which is annoying because the Mega Drive one is the one on one. But, grr. But I digress. You're not getting me this time, Slicer. And no, oh god, no. Oh good. I remember before on the playthrough I did for the hood comms, I got stuck up there. It wouldn't let me down. It done my head in. Oh well, end of the first act. So this calls for a little break. So when we when I return, we shall tackle Act Two, Act Three, and pretty much the rest of the game. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a minute.